and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a meme tier Monday filled with donation decks. Viewers are bringing their decks for meme tier Monday. First one here is Teemo Wayfinder. Y'all know how I love playing Teemo Wayfinder decks. We have a new uh, version of it submitted. So basically what our goal here is to have Kinku Wayfinder, our four mana allegiance card from Ionia that if we can hit that allegiance trigger, we get to summon two one-cost allies from our deck, and our only one-cost allies, of course, are Teemos. So Kinku Wayfinder, if we hit it, we'll put two Teemos into play uh, for us, and and you know then we use the the Teemos and a whole bunch of puff caps and and win with with the uh, puff caps. Looks like we got two copies of counterfeit copies, so we can put we can uh, target Teemo with counterfeit copies to shuffle more Teemos into our deck. Now, that, that's good and bad. That's good because then we have, you know, a second Wayfinder can put even more Teemos into play. So that's very good. The kind of bad part is it does put a whole bunch of PNZ cards, Piltover and Zon cards, into our deck so that it's more likely that we miss with Kinku Wayfinder. We also got one copy of Dawn and Dusk, where if we have a Teemo in play, we can use Dawn and Dusk on the Teemo and summon two more Teemos. And so... We could get a lot of Teemos in play. So like we could have like we we cast our original Teemo, Teemo, we play a Wayfinder that gets two more Teemos. Now we have three. We Dawn and Dusk. Now we have five. And that can add up to a lot of doubling and just kind of go exponential. Um let's see. This uh our other champions, Lee Sin. Um, you know, just kind of do do some stuff. Lee Sin kind of works pretty well with the uh, mushroom clouds that you create that you create from uh, chump lump that gives you the cheap really cheap burst spells for that um but that's what we got we got our claw of the dragon eye of the dragon you know a lot of ionia cards because we got to hit the ionia allegiance all right it's meme tier monday let's give it a try we're gonna go over and just play these games in normal so we do with our meme tier monday decks we got four of them today Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit of a nombo putting more Teemos into your deck for that, but it you, it's super high upside because then because otherwise, like if you go Wayfinder, they kill your two Teemos, then your other Wayfinders don't really do anything because you don't have any more Teemos. All right, unfortunately, it looks like we're playing against Tier One Noxus Aggro. Two, three, four. We're gonna have to be very fast. Um, we we get to attack turn one with Teemo, so this is the best uh, you know best we can hope for. So good, we need to get these puff caps started. Gotta get them started. No one's the wiser. Skill and grace to tear your breath away. Everything's in place. Triple one drop. Great start for them. I really like seeing that Concussive Palm. I can use that next turn. Uh, that's definitely really nice that I get to use that next turn to keep like a really big attacker, like a 6-4 Overwhelm. Keep that from dealing damage. Man, they had a great hand. I mean, I can't complain. I mean, I have like the best hand that we can have. So we'll do Cussive Palm this turn. Untap, play Wayfinder. Hopefully get Teemos three and four. Huh. So since that missed, I'm going to stun the Grenadier and then block the 5 3. Your attack is obvious. It's too late for you. Damn it. 
All right, hopefully we hit. We've been drawing a whole bunch of Ionia cards in a row. I kind of want to draw a PNC card. Uh, it's still another Ionia. Come on. Yeah. All right, we still hit. There we go. Triple Teemo. Triple Teemo. Let's go. All right, we doubled up, double it up. Went from 13 to 26 to 52. There's nothing to fear. So we basically just have to survive this attack. We don't have any more Teemos in our deck for other Wayfinders. Skitter out from the darkness. I'm dead. I can't I can't make any blocks to keep me alive. I can't block these six because the fearsome. So that already puts me down to three, and then these grenadiers just kill me. Darn. GG's. We needed some kind of spell. Some kind of removal spell. We had no spells. We need we need one more of like those you know another concussive palm or will of Ionia, something like that. Uh, our deck's definitely a lot better against the slow decks because the slow decks, you know they they take longer to kill you so you, you get rewarded for having the puff caps. The puff caps will be doing more against the slow decks. Unfortunately, we are just facing the super fast aggro last game and again here. This one, of course, being elusives. Um, our deck certainly struggles against Elusives, because the whole plan of our deck is Teemo striking them, and they play things that can block Teemo just fine. We don't want any trouble. The dragon remembers. Just looking out for the public. Oh, I didn't I didn't put any decks on Mobilitics, did I? We've been through a lot. I forgot to do that. I don't think I, I don't think I have any command for watch time. Have a mushroom. Have three. Extra hands. Good job, Milan. Yeah, way to go. Yeah, that's that's what we're that's what we're doing. Um, multiplying Teemo, getting getting a bunch of Teemos, trying to give them a whole bunch of puff caps. That's the ideal result of the deck. Um, 
you know, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Never see us coming. Works out a lot better against control decks, giving them all these pup caps. Time for a leap of faith. So, yeah, a few rune terra sites that I uh, recommend there. Uh, Milan. Um, Mobilitics. Does a great job if you can click on. Um, you know, click on, like, the this link, for example. Uh, Mobilitics on the. Uh, left hand side, there's a whole bunch of things. A like, really good resource for decks. Um, I guess if you, uh, I guess that's a better link. If you want to see all of my decks are right there on Mobilitics. Um, besides that, uh, decksofruntera.com is another very good one. And then besides that, just if you want news, and everything, follow the patch notes and things like that whenever they are live. Use that site, uh, playruntera.com is their news website. So I kind of like how I'm not, like how my opponent is just obliterating some of their things. I do kind of like that. That if they want to just keep playing more things, they got to keep obliterating things. Don't really know exactly how I'm supposed to be winning this yet. We'll see if we find like a Lee Sin. Maybe help us out or something similar. Hey, Krabby. That's my friend. See the world through new eyes. Kneel, students, rise, warriors. Let's move. Walk softly, strike quickly. Balance wills it. See, so, you know, they did just obliterate a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, we're gonna bounce this one and block the other one. And over here, I guess we just go block, block. I don't love blocking the sparring student. I kind of want to bounce sparring student. But that's alright. So they're down to just two cards left in hand.
Do we have like some card draw in here? What do we got? All right. I didn't put the deck on mobile edit because I don't get a look at it. That's my bad. That's my bad. Hmm. I'll just save the mana. We're not getting a draggling anyway, and I want to have room for a Kinku Wayfinder. Oh yeah, that's how we're gonna win. We're just gonna have them draw too many pup caps. First step's the hardest. Yeah, Timos. Extra hands never hurt. No. Yeah, draw those cards. Get those puff caps. There you go. Because they got 28 puff caps, 23 cards. Okay, Dawn and Dusk. Could get us some more Teemos. Do concussive palm now or wait? I don't know. I kind of want to bounce Shadow Assassin actually. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. I don't want to bounce Shadow Assassin. So they draw another card. They'll never see us coming. Keep one team around for the Dawn and Dusk. We could honestly Dawn and Dusk Puff Cat Peddler. I've always been a fun guy. That may be the better thing to do, Dawn and Dusk Puff Cat Peddler. Right now we, we would get a draggling next turn. Um but if I play if I play a Eye of the Dragon and then also have Draggling, my Dawn and Dusk isn't doing anything. So I think I don't play it. So we got 37 puff caps with their 22 cards. Yep, keep drawing those cards. Only one puff cap. Hmm. Another Eye of the Dragon. Probably the worst card to draw. Because we don't even want to play it. We just want spells to go with Puffcat Peddler. That's all we want are spells. Uh, let's see. Do we have like Deep Meditation in this deck? Because if not, we should. I'm not sure if we do or not. No deep meditation. Should probably have that card. We each hold a world within. I 
That's a good one. That gets me the, you know, the card advantage and gets me a blocker. It doesn't get me any puff caps. They just drew zero puff caps? Oh, come on. How, how did their last two cards, they drew one puff cap? And their last two cards. That's not cool. There we go. It's, a, it's another good one. Spell. I like it. Looking for a daring escape. Oh yes. Please keep replaying Shadow Assassin and drawing more cards. Silent as death. That could be seven puff caps. Oh, five. So close. They cannot hide. They probably should have just like picked up their tail of the dragon to stun and then stun my my shadow assassin. You cannot escape. Your lesson begins. What a mushroom help. Hmm. I could take this. I go to four. I only have four mana. If they have fear if they have Fury of the North, I have Concussive Palm. All right, so this should be a win. We just need them to draw two puff caps. Every draw stop averages two puff caps. And, you know, they're going to draw at least two more cards uh, before the next turn. So here we go. Puff caps. Got there. Exactly two. Perfect. Yeah. We just, we never had to attack. <laughs> we dealt the 20 damage with puff caps. I don't think we hit them a single time. I don't think we did. All right, let's get a uh, deck list up. Teemo, Wayfinder. Oh, gotta go over here. This is my bad for getting to do this. Before, that's my bad. Teemo, Wayfinder. And that's a, um, I don't know, copy that. Okay. After this deck, I'll put, I'll put the other three up there. Alright, Nakano with the donation deck for Yasuo Zed. That sounds pretty good. Alright, so we're playing against Demacia with Garen. Um, I think I like those cards. I'll keep all those. Oh, yeah, we should probably add some deep meditations too. I was focused on doing that. Our deck could use some card draw. But I want to attack. No, I haven't added deep meditation yet. We'll probably do that after this it's game. Dangerous out there. Take this. Gotta kill that thing. We're playing against the elites. Bellsmith too good. The elite lord. All right, so Yasuo Zed. If I didn't forge it, you won't want it. No, not another one. Oh man. Uh What do we do? So of course, all right, so my, I didn't play the two drop cuz I wanted the extra spell mana cuz my plan was to play Chump Womp, get the mushroom clouds, give them the mushroom clouds, and then they would have 15 and it would level up the team and we and we hit them so that they would have 30. Otherwise, I can do Wayfinder, and if Wayfinder hits, then we get three Teemo hits, and then we give them five. Uh, you know, then we go to 10, 15, 30. So either way, it's the same. This is 100% Teemo. Oh, 
Teemo flips and they go to 30. 100% of the time, the Wayfinder may miss and then it wouldn't have it connect. So I'm going to go this round that will definitely work. And sure, we put this random 3-2 into play. Which I guess I should be attacking with with said random 3-2. We'll just trade that with a 3-3. No, no, it's fine. It's fine not to attack with it too. It's not, not a big deal. Soldier, to me. So we've gotten the same number of puff caps, and now we'll have all leveled up puff caps, or all leveled up Teemos if we would hit. So Allegiance would have hit. We got Claw, you know, Claws of the Dragon was the top card. We would have hit the Allegiance trigger. So now if we miss, then we can say, well, should have done it the last turn. Everyone here? Another yeah, still hit. Pick em, you platinum, kid. Ready to do my part. Still hit. Still good. This will likely kill them if they if they don't have an answer to a team up. They don't have like a single combat. This will likely kill them because then they'll go to uh, basically 60, 120, 240 puff caps. Okay, what? Well, a little bit less. A little less. 216. So they're probably drawing eight. We fight for those or at least close to it. Shall we dance, Lee? I'll follow your lead. <laughs> eight puff caps. Exactly, there we go. Teemo, Teemo Wayfinder. Was the mushrooms we planted along the way. Doing its thing. <laughs> that was awesome. That's exactly what I should be doing. Perfect. Okay. Um, as far as, yeah. Because we probably want, so, you know, we need to keep our Ionia card count high. And we probably want a little bit of card draw, so having a couple deep meditations would probably be good for those later games and to be able to find stuff. As far as like what to cut for deep meditation, I would probably cut... I don't know about Key, key Guardian or Retreat. Maybe we just cut the two Retreats. I also don't really like Eye of the Dragon, to be honest, but I, I think that we should play some. I just don't know if we need three. Three's a lot of Eye of the Dragons. And and we see, like, with with Kinku Wayfinder, Eye of the Dragon's much worse, because this already takes up half of our slots if we have anything else in play. Like, it, it we really run out of room. And, like, so Eye of the Dragon's not very valuable. Um, so I want to get rid of one Eye of the Dragon and then probably a Key Guardian and just go one of those. Or... Um, yeah, probably a Key Guardian. Maybe another Eye of the Dragon, honestly. Don't think that card's super useful. Yeah, just go with one Eye of the Dragon. Cool. All right, let's do that. It's just not very useful. It's weird. Whenever that set came out, whenever, you know, the newest set came out, uh, the Rising Tide set... I thought Eye of the Dragon was going to be a big player, you know, like, just reading the card, it looks good. But just in, like, how it plays out in games is just not very good. It's weird. Alright, Elise Lucian, we're going to mulligan our cards. Yeah, you have to you have to really build around Eye of the Dragon. Just putting an Eye of the Dragon in in random decks like this, it's not very effective. But if you if you really build around it in a deck that has a ton of spells and not very many units, you need to have you need to have both of those things. You need to have a bunch of spells to enable it, and you also need to not have very many units so you don't clog up 
the space, then it's good. So it's, yeah, a deck like Karma Ezreal can take advantage of Eye of the Dragon. Uh, I guess I'll play Eye of the Dragon. Kind of want to play Claw of the Dragon. I can see them having like a bunch of like fear, you know, like they have like a lease or something. But they pass priority to me. I'll get one point in. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Well, we could. So I'll get the Peddler and then Chump Lump. Can create the two Mushroom Clouds, give it to them. That's 16 Puff Caps with Peddler in play. And then Wayfinder gets our two leveled up Teemos. Head to the base. This is... The dragon sketchy. Binds us. Go ahead, use some spell and kill that thing. Darn. Tell me mask, kill me tail, stop to die. Hmm. Yeah, uh exclamation point deck, that's that's the deck list there for the code. You you know, click on the link and there's a code button on the right hand side. I think we're just giving the puff caps right now. I don't think we wait and then give them the next turn. It's just it's just another draw step they could have. I guess I should have responded to the glimpse beyond with giving them those so they could draw more puff caps with that. Words move hearts and armies. Be strong. These are dark times. Darn it. Wait, I don't have room for Kinku Wayfinder now. Ugh. I the dragon, this is the problem with you. Hmm. That's why I should have waited. I, that's why I should not have played those when I did. I should have played. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't think about that. I mean, that's my fault. So I shouldn't have played the the two mushroom clouds because if I don't, we don't have these two slots taken up, and then I could have gone wayfinder first, and then mushroom cloud, mushroom cloud. It would have obliterated the claw of the dragon. But. Okay. Well, our our wayfinder would have missed. So actually, work out because Wayfinder would have missed. I don't even want to attack with the two one because it's not like I can gain any more life than twenty, and they would just be able to block with the Spiderling, which is bad for me with Dawn Speakers. I don't even want to attack with that thing. That's good. Retreat, Shadow Assassin combo. Um, Alright, let's have them go ahead and attack. I need to kill some things. I need to kill three things. Ugh. I have to have something die on their side, so I guess if I have to have something die, I might as well have two things die. Ready yourself. I mean, I guess I don't have to block here, and I could block, you know, I could block like this and clear up three spots, and then nothing dies, and then it doesn't pump up all their stuff. Yeah, we can do that. Oh yeah. We're gonna see Dawn and Dust Teemo. No! Hmm. It's rude. I'm trying to kill my Teemo. They grow up so fast. Never mind. Retreat's awesome. Retreat return, awesome. Okay, so we need to do return first. Another day in the field. 
Plus we'll give him some more pop caps. Now let's go Wayfinder. Yeah. Alright, so we won't have Donnie Dust Teemo yet, but... That's because we have all these cool Teemos. Alright, so where are the they're at 37. Um, if I if I play a spell, that turns into forty. So that, that's three that gets doubled to six, that gets doubled to twelve, that gets doubled to twenty-four. So playing a spell does give them twenty-four puff caps. I just don't really want to play either of these. I we need to have spirits refuge in case they just go like, say in case they have another single combat or grasp the undying or anything like that. All right, two hundred ninety-six. Go and draw your eight. Where's our Teemo emote? Teemo emote. Teemo emote. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Boom. <laughs> Teemo Wayfinder, it's working. <laughs> yeah, this last game we gave him what, like 240 about, or 225, something like that. And they had, they were at eight life, drew eight puff caps. This time we gave him almost 300, and they're at eight life, drew nine puff caps. <laughs> to be fair, my last two, my last two opponents haven't really done very much. And it's made our deck look better than what it is because they haven't done anything. Be fair about that. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to keep the counterfeit copies and copy Shadow Assassin. I'll play a bunch of Shadow Assassins. And let's, let's keep Retreat with Shadow Assassin also. Ooh, I can make a bunch of Chump Lumps. Ooh, that's tempting too. That's tempting too. Making a bunch of chump womps so we can just give them a whole bunch of mushroom clouds. Oh, I think I go. I think I just go chump womp and just make bunches of chump womps. I think. I don't think this is a loss. I think this. I think. I think we're gonna win this. Y'all are saying that they're just going to snipe our Teemos and we're going to lose? The dragon remembers. No, I think we win. Because I'm not going to I'm not gonna let them Ezreal... My plan is to not really let them level up Ezreal and just give them tons and tons of puff caps and they just draw too many cards and they can't kill me. And they lose. That's my plan. So, yeah, not really relying on Teemo in this game. Kind of wish I had the one extra mana for the retreat to bounce the Chump Womp. Probably should have done something with that. Until next turn, I cast the two mushroom clouds with the Eye of the Dragon. But no, I can't really play Eye of the Dragon. That just gives them too many targets. Okay, well, I'm glad I have that extra mana. So we have Shadow Assassin with Retreat. We could use Puffcat Peddler. That's the card we could use. Yeah, Kar Karma's definitely going to be a problem, for sure. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna wayfinder and put Teemos into play unless they have, unless my Teemos are leveled up. I'm not gonna let Static Shocks kill my Teemos. Hmm. Do I do Eye of the Dragon? Do I even play it? Give them more things to kill. I 
really use Puffcat Peddler. Like, that's that's the most important card with our plan. Um... I don't, I don't really love casting Eye of the Dragon, to be honest. Oh, we'll do it. We'll see if... See if you get really punished for it. What is gained when he returned malevolence? Hide. So I actually want to draw my P and Z spells. I want Puff Cat Peddler and I want Chump Womp. We know we have a whole bunch of Chump Womps in the deck. Tap out for Lee Sin, they could kill Shadow Assassin. The dark beckons. Force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, Master. Cool. Take another jump bump. Perfect. Never ask. Um. Man, Dawn and Dusk on Lee Sin could be pretty sweet. Dawn and Dusk on Lee Sin could be pretty sweet. Patience is underrated. I don't. Basically, I'm just debating. Okay, so the reason why I'm taking a little bit of time here, I'm just debating if I'm going to use Will of Ionia or Concussive Palm on these things. Oh no. Master. No attacks. Pass. I will play my Darn. Part. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Six out of seven. Oh, that's a harvest right there. I'll see this through. Level up Lee Sin. As the dragon will. Fight firmly. Enter your. 
your spirit. Prepare yourself. And they're just gonna bounce Lisa in. Hey, what's up, Nick? Yeah, we're going to be playing an Iceborne Legacy Yeti deck. We'll see how it works. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be doing that a little later. The dragon waits. Don't need to play anything. Just let damage happen. Really don't need to play anything. I do not see. You cannot escape. Huh. I guess they don't understand how that works, so that's cool. Just got to deny out of them for nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and Spirits Refuge this 4-3 while we're at it. I would not hold back. Spring, spring. Yeah, I guess they, they just don't understand how that's supposed to work. Looks like. Because, yeah, once, once they bounce the lease in, then it doesn't do the Dragon's Rage anymore. They didn't know that's the use to deny. Alright, and if we play Wayfinder and get Teemos, the Teemos will be 2-2s. Two that's good, they won't die to Static Shock. We are free to do that at some point now. They are very slow, also. Not much, not much action going on. There we go. Yeah, even with leveled up Lee Sin, it still... Dragon's Rage means that an ally kicks the enemy into the enemy nexus, striking both. If that ally is removed from play because it was Will of Ionia back to your hand, then that ally is not in play. It does not have the ability to kick the enemy into the enemy nexus. What is gained when we return malevolence? Sounds dangerous. I'm in. I'm in. Mm. I guess we'll go stun. If I play, if I go stun, then I'm not, I'm not playing Wayfinder. If I play, if I go bounce, I can play Wayfinder. If I go stun, I'm not playing Wayfinder. <laughs> So we're gonna bounce. Another day in the field. I'll pick him, you plan him, kid. So doing this, you know, if they probably gonna try to bounce karma. If you have a Lucian and Senna in at the board, why do you have to put Lucian first instead of Senna? It's for for attacking purposes. Your opponent wants to block and kill Lucian, and so if if that's the, your opponent's plan, like if they maybe have a spell that allows them to block one of those two, um, you want to have the Lucian first because that's that's the one they're going to kill. And so it, if they kill Lucian, then Senna turns into the five three double attack, and so we'll, you know, then they'll be taking all the damage from Senna double attack. That's a great card for them to have. All three Shadow Assassins, that's pretty rough. Let's 
pretty rough having all the Shadow Assassins. Leveled up Lee Sin should just have Challenger, right? Like, you shouldn't have to cast a spell to give leveled up Lee Sin Challenger. It should just already have Challenger, and then it's like, if you play a spell, give a barrier or something. What's up with this Ezreal art? Like just a light bulb or something. I need, a, I need to free up space, of course. I can't Wayfinder in Dawn and Dusk. I need to free up space. So that's how I was attacking with the 1-3. Yeah, Ezreal's become invincible. Yes, Dawn and Dusk will, would create stunned co Dawn and Dusk creates exact copies, and so if the thing's stunned, they will make more stunned. First step the hardest. No. I think that's our first time missing with the Allegiance trigger. All right, come on, draw ten puff caps. Okay, two, we're getting there. You know, obviously we don't want them to have the life gain spell. We're getting there. Chump lumps, good draw. We'll take this chump lump and. Get some more mushroom clouds. Man, they take forever. Come on, eight puff caps. Come on, only one? Dang, that was lucky. They only got three puff caps and four cards. They have more puff caps than cards. Conflict is all in the mind. Like Dawn and Dusk Wayfinder? No. Probably be Dawn and Dusking the Chump Womp to try to get more Mushroom Clouds. And the Mushroom Clouds are my going to be my main way to win this. I believe. Of course, that's been my plan the whole time. Oh, come on. Yeah, let me... Let me give you some of these real quick. Alright, go ahead. Draw two cards. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't worry about it. Draw two. 13 and 24. Almost... Yeah, almost doubled up. Come on. Four, three... Alright, two, and now three. Three... No, two and two. Ah, so close. They don't know what they're up against. Ah, I didn't teamo emo. I didn't teamo emo. Yeah, 
We're so close. We need one little puff cap. We need one more. Come on, pass turn, pass turn. Okay, that taps him out. That's not us dying. That means we're going to, they're gonna be drawing a card. Let's go. What is gained when we return malevolence? Yeah. <laughs> There's the five club caps that we needed. So that's kind of the way to beat the control deck is just give them a bunch of puff caps and and hopefully not make it too fast for them draw you know them killing you kind of thing. Um, it does feel weird. I it does feel weird only playing two peddlers and two chump lumps when like peddler and chump lump are two of the very best cards in your deck. I really want three of both of those, but of course you only you know you need to have as many cards for kinku wayfinder with the ionia as you can um so like to put those in you'd probably have to cut some of these things it's probably counterfeit copies i don't maybe just go one counterfeit copies and get another like puff cat peddler like peddler is really important we saw it in some of those other games peddler being awesome but yeah peddler chump Womp, of course levels up teemo super fast love both of these cards um yeah, that deck, yeah, the my opponent's deck usually plays health potion. They did not draw any health potions, or at least did not cast any health potions if they did draw them, which I was happy about. Um, yeah, a 4-1. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting that either, but it worked out great. Definitely real real happy with that. You know, like we I think we got we got fortunate in spots and you know, we, we played it normal. It wasn't ranked, it was in normal. That's what we do with our meme tier Monday decks, and we could definitely see a difference between playing in normal and playing in ranked with opponent quality. Um, but uh, we got to got to show off our deck, got to do our thing, and that's really all you, you want. You know, we got, to, we got to do our thing. We got to put in a bunch of Teemos. So we got one opponent with 300 puff caps, another one with like 225 or so. Um, and yeah, our puff caps were, were just winning there. Um, uh, Claws, I would certainly not say that Claws of the Dragon did nothing. Claws of the Dragon helped us stay alive and just traded with their early drops. Like Claws of the Dragon is just a good thing to trade with. Um, yeah, I would, not, I would not say that it did nothing. Um... <laughs> no, yeah, very small sample size there. All right, there there we go. There's our first meme tier deck of the day. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. Feel free to let me know what you want to see next meme tier Monday or anything like that. Got any predictions for the patch notes that I believe are coming out tomorrow? Uh, you know, feel free to leave those comments. All right, but that's it here for Teemo Wayfinder. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.